Kampala Capital City Authority recently closed two bars in Kololo following numerous complaints about excessive noise. Residents of the area went to court over the noise pollution. Today, a team of KCC officials conducted a sensitization exercise on this matter. Churches have to get approved plans in order for you to, to build it. And what is key now, before your plan is approved, you have to submit what we call a noise management uh, mechanism. If it's an open bar, you're not supposed to be in a residential area. However, if you want to be in a, re in a residential area, you have, you're supposed to soundproof it. Peter Setenda advised that those intending to enter the entertainment business must first make a number of considerations. Uh, we no longer allow bars, open bars in residential areas, so that's very key. When you look at your land, land title, what does it say? Is it a commercial land title? Is it a residential land title? If it's a residential, you're supposed to first change land use to commercial before a bar is permitted in that area. There are also concerns on the presence of worship places in residential areas. As far as physical planning guidance are concerned, churches are supposed to be in residential areas because they have to be near the people. What is important in this area? Churches are not a problem, but the problem is noise. So in order to solve the problem of noise, you're supposed to soundproof your church. The law on noise pollution prescribes prison sentences. There are two cases. One, you can pay a fine of not less than 150,000 uh, 150, Ugandan shillings and not beyond 18 million. That's if it is fine. And if it is uh, uh, a conviction uh, to be taken to, to, to prison, it should not exceed 18 months. So th those are the convictions, or both. So it's Sandra Twinobrio, NTV Tonight.